And that's why you say the market isn't rational. It's all emotional. <laughs> it's emotional. When yeah. things happen, people either buy or sell. And yeah, it's, that's it's based on fear and greed. Yeah. So there's this theory out there. It's called the, the market. I don't want to go into it pretty much. It's I'll pretty go into it. Okay, <laughs> I bro. think we should. So there's two <laughs> theories out there, right? One theory uh, by economists that the market is always rational. So everything about the economy is always priced into the share of the actual stock itself. So the market say, is, say it again. Say so it again. everything about the economy mm-hmm. and the stock <clears> is already priced into the stock. Okay. So they're trying to say the market is rational. Mm-hmm. The second theory is the market is irrational. People buy and sell based on feeling. And the way you can tell which one is right, look at the 52-week low and the 52-week high. And in a year, there's no way. The company is not growing or decreasing by 50% in a year. But if you look at PayPal right now, the high was 310, the low was 174. Based on maybe news and events. Based and on news and events. But over the long term, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, PayPal is going to get to a rational price. It's going to get back to 250, 300, even surpass that. So now the stock is at a discount. Buy the shares, yes, but buy the options too. Because remember, the premium multiplies much more faster than the actual stock does. Yes. So you can actually hold it in three months and make 200, 300, 400% on your money just by holding the options contract. And it's safer because you have a two-year out contract versus just buying one month. Yep. Got it. So, okay, that makes sense. Where you're saying both philosophies are right just based on what time frame you're talking about. Short term, it's irrational because it's, it's moving from event to event, news to news, tweet by tweet. Yes. Know? But it's rational in the sense that it will always correct itself. It will always yes. correct itself. Got it will it. always That's correct itself. That's the perfect itself. way to put it. So when it dumps and we're getting a 50% discount, everybody's selling, this is time to buy. Mm-hmm. Like the last couple of weeks, I've been looking for different, different things to buy. PayPal yep. is my number one. And we're looking at SQ as well. A firm dropped from like one seven. SQ? Uh, Square. Square. SQ Square. is, uh, is, no, is Cash they, App. Yeah. Cash they, they, they changed their name to Block. You know, Cash yeah. App. Yes. Now, they're also going into crypto now as well. Yeah. But there's a big one. So. Are, they, are they down right now? Oh, yeah, they're, they're down. down bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The whole sector is out. They're down yeah. like 100. What are they down? They're 145? 155? Yeah, it's 140. It's down because people are afraid of like the health stuff? Or? Yep. That's part of it. Okay, for example, PayPal, PayPal was supposed to buy Pinterest. I don't know whether you know that. The deal didn't go through. So PayPal started dumping because- Yeah, investors pulled out. Oh. I'm like, but PayPal is still a strong company just because that piece of news. And the reason you have to understand is that you have to understand that the hedge fund managers are being run by people who go to Princeton, their top 1% of their class. And the way they become hedge fund managers, they start an analyst. They work their way up by being right every quarter. Mm. So their job is quarter by quarter. They have to post profits quarter by quarter. I, as an individual investor, I can wait one year. I can wait two years. They can't, okay? Because if they mess up, they get fired. Yeah. And their numbers are being c- compared to everybody's numbers across the board, mm-hmm. right? Mm. So they're moving money out of PayPal, not because they don't believe in it, but by the end of the quarter, December 31st, they have to post their numbers. How did you do this quarter? Were you up 1%? Were you up 2%? Were you down 5%? So because of that, they have to take their money out of anything that's volatile, even in the short term, because yep. they have to protect their profits or they'll lose their job. Even if, even if it's a, oh, and that, okay, I get what you're saying. They don't really have time to- They don't have the time. They have to have up and down and up and down. Yeah. They don't have the Eventually time. it will go up, oh, yeah. right? If you're a strong company, yeah. but they have to move according to, I guess, other people's emotions. Exactly. Their yeah. investors' emotions. Their, yeah. Okay, the board. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Wasi, what, what is your strength? What is your strength? So my strength is, it depends on the seasons. I usually am better at doing scalp trading, right? Scalp Scalp trading. trading. So that's making money in literally in minutes. Day, yeah. day so it's, it's day, so we have day trading and scalping. We're losing money in minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so I'll, I'll right. tell you this. So you I'll, I'll you tell you a story. So um, one of my biggest days, well, actually my biggest day, I made a hundred grand in the market in a day. In a day. In a day. Right. This was uh, July 2020. Right. So what ends up happening is um, we bought into Amazon at the time. Right. I bought some Amazon contracts, some Tesla contracts, some Netflix contracts. uh, I think Google as well. But most of most. Yeah. Netflix was really good in 2020. (laughs) So. um, So what ended up happening was I got into the trade. Right. And um, pretty much like right around the time of like when the market opened. Right. And then literally in minutes, the stock started just exploding. Right. Like a 10 percent gain, 15 percent gain in the stock itself and and across like Amazon, Tesla and Netflix. Right. Now, I put in about 20 grand into into the Amazon play. Right. Now, what ended up happening was Amazon went from, I think, about 
three, three, thirty one hundred. I think it gained about a hundred points in a day to thirty two hundred, mm-hmm. right? And my contracts ended up going from twenty uh, k to I think almost about a hundred grand, right? Mm-hmm. On Amazon alone. Sorry, no, eighty grand on Amazon alone. The other place that I had were giving me like ten. 20,000. And so that's how I ended up making a hundred grand in a day. So Mm. that's my strength. I like, I like momentum trading. What that means is essentially you're watching the market and looking for specific trends right in the market. So you, you might have a pre-market plan of saying, Hey, what's the current news out there? What's the market sentiment on a specific stock? And you know, is it up or down? Right. So, you know, I would then decide to either buy calls or puts really close to open. And then I would end up selling literally minutes later. Right. So then there's, there's another one of my, um, strategies, which is called, um, earnings plays, right? This is one of my favorite ones. What are, so there's an earnings earnings report, right? Earnings Earnings play. play. Yeah. So, so essentially uh, a company would, uh, announce their earnings report Mm -hmm. of their specific, uh, their, their revenue and, you know, their quota for, for that specific quarter. Right. And so essentially what ends up happening is depending on the market sentiment of um, what the investors believe that company is supposed to do for that quarter, then the the stock would either rise, you know, 10 percent or fall 10 percent. Right. So if you were to decide to buy a contract or many contracts of a specific company right before they um, announce their earnings, then your contracts actually go like a thousand percent in a day. Like you would literally make an, a thousand percent gain in a day. If you call it right. If, if you, you call, call it right. right. If you call it right. However, with options trading, you can only lose the amount you put in. Mm-hmm. This is the, this is one of my favorite strategies because you can actually use, you know, $200, $400, for instance, when Zoom reported, first reported their, their, um, their earnings, right? This was back in 2020. When Zoom did theirs, they had contracts of $400, right? But, you know, obviously because of the pandemic and things like that, Zoom was like a really popping company at the time. Yeah. So ev- all the investors loved Zoom at, the, at that point in time, right? So when Zoom came out and reported their earnings, like they beat it like, a, a, like by a wide margin. The stock doubled that day. The stock doubled that day. So mm-hmm. you can literally take $400 from that earnings report, right? And literally the next day have about 4000 5000 from that $400 contract. Yeah, we played it. Yeah, so it went from two seventy five to four four. I, I, I got to your mic a little closer too. Oh yeah, we actually you gotta actually move the mic closer so you're oh, okay, comfortable. Yeah. We we got it at one hundred fifty. I bought mine at one hundred fifty dollars per contract. I got what two seventy five? Yeah, so. yeah. Zoom. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 And it went to How many you get, Daisy? <laughs> <laughs> so how many? Uh, <laughs> so uh, for for any play, you have to be careful because you can't just go like all head in. Yeah. And because sometimes it can go your way, but it's still loose. Because okay. something is this, right? There's something called a market maker number. Yeah. Right? The market makers are expecting this market stock. Market, market maker, maker numbers. number. Yeah. Market maker number. Yeah. 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 Right. So, they're expecting a particular stock to move as earnings at a particular price. So, on Think or Swim or like some platforms, they write, they write MMM, which is market maker move. They will say plus 10, plus or minus 10. So, they're saying if this move plus or minus 10, the IV, which is the implied volatility, which is what multiplies your contracts, right. is going to you know, go crazy and you can make more money. Now, if you're wrong, or let's say you're right, the right direction, but it doesn't make that market maker number and you're out of the money, you might lose or you yeah. might not get the same game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you yeah, have to be right. Be that's one thing. And then you have to get the number that the market makers expect. Yeah. But then you're playing with little money. Yeah. So I bought 10 of those. That's like 1,500. And each went to like four grand. So that was easy money for me, right? right? But if I knew it was going to go, if I was so yeah, cocky, I would have put like 20 kids yeah. to that. I would have easy money. But then yeah. it could go wrong, wrong or it could go my way and not still not make the money. Yeah. So you have to be careful when you're playing earnings. Yeah, so, earning, earnings is very, you have to be very careful. There was one recently for Peloton. Oh, yeah. Now, Peloton was uh, a company that investors really loved during the pandemic. Yeah. However, what we ended up seeing was that the company itself ended up... Um, like cutting their prices of the bikes, like in half. For instance, I bought the Peloton bike back in July, 2020 for about two grand. 
that same bike is worth, I think, about $1,000, maybe even yeah. a little bit less than that. Yeah, because they, they needed to still make money. Nobody was buying Peloton bikes. Maybe it was going out. So yeah. yeah. Everybody's going out now. So what ended up happening was... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, every, and that's, the gyms are opening kinda, back up. I really like this conversation because it gets you thinking about the world. Real the world economy. problems, yeah. Like, when you, like, for right now, I saw something happen with Peloton. Yeah. It was like a TV show or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You had, you had, yeah. What happened? Yeah. So, so there was a TV... Oh, you want to talk about... So there was a TV show that essentially um, had the Peloton uh, bike in, in the in the show. And essentially, I think somebody like... Died. Somebody died, died on the show or something. Because like on of, the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, on, on the show. On the bike, basically. Like, yeah, on the bike, yeah. 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 So that's... Bad news people ain't bushing him. Yeah. So what do you think the stock did? Hold on. People yeah. ain't pushing him. Trust me. Yeah. They're saying he died on the bike. So yeah. Yeah. The bike was... Cause of the death. So why just, was the bike the cause of his death? What so happened? it wasn't was a TV show. I yeah, mean, I mean it was just people die. It's, oh, he didn't actually no, die. No, 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 no he, he didn't die. die. It was the no, TV no, no, show. No, yeah, no, no, no. So he kind of died. Yeah, on the bike and he died. Yeah, yeah. On the bike. yeah. 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 And that affected yeah. the, the price of the stock. Yes. That's why I said the market is not rational. Yeah, 